Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. And welcome back for the continuation of our cozy Halloween home tour. And we are focusing in on the living room now. So I had to rearrange everything. There was furniture I needed to take out, furniture I needed to bring in, relocate it. But you can see that I started with a full on mess. <laughs> now from the entryway, the foyer, you can see that I still have all that stuff piled in there at this point. I have moved the furniture, I put the couch on the other side of the room, the TV on the, I flip-flopped them. I laid down this big new shag rug and I have all of my fall and Halloween decor out. And I'm pulling it out and I'm placing it into the different rooms that I wanted in. But you can see a lot of it goes into the living room or at least the intention of it going into the living room. So I have it kind of separated out in piles and bunches. And my son came down from Raleigh and he hung that antique ladder up on the wall for me. I got a couple brackets and, and I have that antique little garden gate as well. Ultimately, I'm not, I'm not content. Well, I'm content, but it's not the way I wanted it to be. But my theme, over and over again is sometimes you just have to take things that they are and move on to the next thing so that's what I've done with that and so I have ideas for next time but for now this is what I have and I'm okay with it I'm okay with it it's not what I had in my head but it is not bad either it's very cozy it adds to that element of cozy in the room so you can see that things are being shuffled and moved around some of them cleared out and found new homes but now I'm going to turn my attention to the fireplace. Do a little zoom in there, seeing all those buys, those new buys from this year for my Halloween hunting. And now I've taken all of my decor off the mantle. And I, I end up keeping both of those garlands. I, I hang them differently, I flop them, but we're just kind of figuring things out. So I have an old, it's like a black and white polka dot fabric that I laid down. And then that mirror is new, that wreath is new. I just adhered a little um, hanger in the middle of it, and then I added those two um, jack-o'-lantern lanterns, <laughs> and I love them. And now I've added these garden gates, and the, the lanterns are from TJ Maxx, I think, or, or Home Goods. The little garden gates are from At Home. And I'm really liking the way this looks. So I'm taking pictures from a lot of different angles just to make sure that it makes sense. And now here I have added a lot. So I took everything down and I added those fringy shears. Those are actual curtains. And then I also added the moon um, candle holders and the candles that are in them. And I'm loving the way that it's coming together. Here you can see that I've switched the, the garlands and I really like the look that way. Now I'm taking pictures at different times of the day and I have the lanterns on so you can see the bats and the stars reflecting up on the ceiling. Now here I've added some more pieces. I have a tall candlestick and you can see my little um, scully bust as well as a haunted house just to the right of that and another smaller one that is a tea light to the left of it down um, at the base of that little um, jack-o'-lantern on a pedestal. So there you can kind of see both of the haunted houses, the taller one on the right and the smaller one on the left. And zooming out, you can see that the room is still, <laughs> still a mess. There's still a long way to go, but we're getting there. So I encourage you, don't pay attention to the vertical blinds. They're a mess. I live in an apartment. I'm waiting for maintenance to take care of that for me. But here is the room and the coziness, and it's really coming together. And then my attention kind of goes back over there, like it's a daunting reminder of what I still have ahead of me. But then, you know, I, I just, again, continue doing what I'm doing because I'm making progress. It's just very slow. I'm just me, and I have a lot. <laughs> So these are all of my different piles and you can see that they're morphing, they're changing, they're getting smaller. My poor little vulture, his head broke, he didn't fare well over the, <laughs> over the year in the closet. So now I'm turning my attention to that bookcase. So it's in the corner, I have to unload all of the books off of it. 
turn it, move it, put the books back on, and then decorate it, stage it. That was a task that took me several days. That by itself. And I do kind of tweak it here and there, so what you see now isn't what it's going to be in the end. Some pieces stay the same. But when I need a break from that, I turn to other parts of the room. So I have moved that white cabinet from, from it was actually in the hallway, then I moved it over by the bookcase, and now I've moved it there, and that's where I decided it's going to stay. And so I decided to go ahead and stage it, and I'm very happy with it. But back to this corner, now I have my gray cabinet there, and I love that cabinet. That is from a sweet friend, the same one that did the, um, the hutch in the, in the foyer, she did that cabinet as well. So I really like the way both of them are turning out. We'll do some more close-ups on that gray cabinet here in a little bit, as well as the bookcase. But this is my little white cabinet with that beautiful clock from at home. I love that. The wreath that it's sitting in, I've had for many years. I'm not even sure where I got it. But there's that corner. I love it. That is what I see most of the time from my from the vantage point of my favorite chair in the room. So I get to see that and I see the the gray cabinet and everything that's on it, that little jack-o'-lantern jack haunted house, I love it. So here's when I walk in from the foyer, if you'll recall, we took a glance into the living room, but now we're just gonna walk on in. So I do apologize, I am walking, I don't have a gimbal, so it's a little unsteady, but I've tried to stabilize it. But I'm just gonna let it play from here on out and I will interject from time to time. My sweet girl sitting in the hallway. This is the little tray that's sitting on the ottoman. And all the little goodies that's on it. Now I do apologize if some of the shots are particularly dark. Obviously time passes as I'm filming and it gets to be night instead of just dusk. So maybe if you dim a light in the room where you're watching, you might be able to see a little bit better. I've done all I can to adjust the lighting. Well, that is one of my favorite things with the two Jackos in the fireplace. Love it. see those stars and bats on the ceiling again and then as I lay down on the couch you can see what the what the view is like up under that antique ladder hanging from the wall near the ceiling I love all the fairy lights
Here's my sweet girl again. She's moved her location. <laughs> Look at that sweet face. Now that little table is just kind of a mishmash of things. It's not anything special, but I do like the way that this little gray cabinet turned out, and that is my favorite phrase. <laughs> Let's stay home. And I love the way those grubby prim candles look in those candle holders. I think they're super fun. And then the mix of textures with the pumpkins from the ceramic to the woven burlap to the wood to the resin. It's just a fun mixture. And this haunted house is so much fun. A lot of people have trouble mixing fall and Halloween. They feel like they need to decorate for one or the other. To me, they're, they go hand in hand. I've heard some call it Halloween, which I love. I guess that's kind of my aesthetic. My Halloween is not creepy, scary, or gory. It might have some creepy, scary elements, but overall, it's much more cozy. That's just who I am. Look at him. I love him. That big old smile. <laughs> I can tell you that keeping batteries in all of these battery operated pieces, <laughs> that's a task in and of itself. Now that kind of little voodoo witch, I've had her for years and years and her batteries had run out and I couldn't find them, but I finally found some this year and I've replaced them. She is kind of nightmare fuel. She's a little scary. That pumpkin painting is from my sister. And then there is my <laughs> my vulture without his head. If you'll recall, his head is in a glass jar under a cloche in the Cabinet of Curiosities. <laughs> and that haunted sign I got from Christmas Tree Shop several years ago, and it is leaning on purpose. Now here I thought I would hang some creepy cloth and maybe add some bats or something, but that's just another one of those areas where I said I just have to accept it for what it is, and it's okay.
that soft yellow light is just so nice. This is just such a comfy, cozy room. I do feel very blessed to be here. And here we are a little bit closer. I do have a fireplace grate or screen or decorative screen in front of it. So seeing through the screen to see the jackos inside the fireplace is kind of hard, but we make it happen. They're so good. Now from the living room, we will turn our attention to the dining room for the next video, but we're going to go ahead and finish this out. And again, y'all leave your comments downstairs in the comments section. Ask me any questions you might have. There again is that play of light on the walls and the ceiling from the witchy hats. And there's a small little haunted house tea light holder. Now I did ask you guys to name this guy and I have all of the options written down. So I will probably pin that in the comments section and let y'all know who won. Or which name I chose, I guess, is a better way to put it. But anyway, there is the larger of the two haunted houses. My son did fix that turret. He got the little light up inside. view from this vantage point. You can see down the hallway just a little bit. And then just a recap of the foyer and how it fits with the living room. And then a bit of a sneak peek into the dining room as well. And like I said, we will turn our focus there next. And that is it for my living room tour for my cozy Halloween home. Thanks again for spending time with me. And until next time, this is Nancy, the Handy Scandy, and I'm out.